What's up guys, it's Ghost Gaming here, and to today's video, I'm going to be showing you the top 5 player home mods for PS4. So if you want to download any of these mods that are in this video, then check the description, it will have the links to all of the mods that are included. And if you are new around here, then do subscribe for more Fallout 4 content. And if you do go on to enjoy the video, then drop a like down below, and let's get into the video. So the first mod is called Outfield Retreat Play Home and this is by the real Eleonora so if you don't know who she is she is a really good follow for modder type of person she makes a lot of mods for PCs and she just has really good mods available and what you want to do once you've downloaded this is you want to come to Diamond City and it will create another mark out which you can fast travel to if you want but if you come into diamond city and near the back there's a cabin that you can enter and this is where the mod is and the the first thing i can say about this mod is it's really small but that's why i love it the attention to detail is just it's just so much stuff in here so much junk and it looks like something that bethesda has made them and it is one of my favourite player homes, so I really do recommend you go and download this. So next up we have Slash Throw Refuge. And this is by far one of the best that you can download. Although it is about 10 megabytes, which is about a tenth of how much storage we get on this game. So watch out for that. You don't want to go overboard on how much storage you have. But this so cool and i just want to thank the author for making this because it is just a great mod if you look on your map once it's downloaded you will be able to see that it's just to the right of sanctuary and you will be able to find it it's like a big rock but once you enter the place is absolutely huge there's different rooms there's also the main area which you will be able to see now it's got some massive decorations which make the mod look so much better and I personally love this because there's just so much you can do in here and seeing as though it is a massive place you wouldn't have thought there's so much attention to detail but there is even if you look in the small cafe area there's totally new stuff that I've never seen before there is actually even different rooms which you can enter and it will take you into a bowling alley which is pretty cool and I think there's a few more rooms that I haven't even entered yet so you can check that out for yourself and just to let you guys know I haven't put any of these mods in order it's just the top five out of everything in the game so just remember that and if you want to download this one then just check it out in the description and next up we have Fallout Shock Apartment and this again is just a great mod I couldn't put any of these in order because they were all great and they all have a different theme to the mod so to get to this mod you will be able to see a new marker that is right next to Fort Strong and you can fast travel here and it will bring you to this tiny building but once you enter it it does have a sort of teleport chair that you can just teleport into the apartment and I love this apartment because it's just so unique I haven't seen anything like it before and once you come through the main entrance it's not that big of an apartment but I think it's the right size for a nice player home there's your bedroom, there's the main area and there's a pretty weird bathroom and all over there is great decorations and a lot of items down that makes it real but in the main room there is sort of water outside of your window which is pretty cool it's like that the you're underground underwater and there's an underground city in water which is really cool and i think it's supposed to be based off a game that is already being made so well done to the author by making this and next up we have malabro mansion by the real eleonora so she's back with another mod another player home and even before going in here I know it's going to be a great mod so to get to this place you want to come over to the separate marker called Malabro Mansion and this is 
to the left of Good Neighbour and once you enter this also is a tiny apartment there is a downstairs and an upstairs but that doesn't mean that it's not good of course it's made by Eleonora so you know it's going to be great and there's again loads of attention to detail to this mod which is one of the main reasons why I love these mods and when I make buildings myself this is what I try and make it like it looks so realistic and there's some great features in this mod that you must check out and one of my favourite parts about this other than the, the rooms full of junk and all of that type of stuff is the windows they bring through light and it makes the settlement look a lot different if there wasn't light it would look different and I just don't know how to do it but it does look great and one of the great parts about this is it's just absolutely full of junk and it makes it look so cool and next up and finally we have Sanctuary Hot Springs Home and Settlement so this mod I have made a review on in a top 5 mods of the week video I think but you can check that out if you want but what you want to do is come over to Sanctuary and it's got its own place it doesn't have a personal marker but you will find a route to this place and once you get here you will be able to see the outside which there is two parts of this mod there is an inside and an outside and I love the outside because of the rocky pool that you can get you can go inside and it does look great on the night because of the Christmas lights above it and it also does look great in the day because you can just sit there and you can see the water coming down from the rocks and it looks great so I recommend trying this mod out and having a little bit of fun with it and the inside of this place is also really cool so once you come to this place you will need to get a key that's why it will say once you try to enter and that is at vault 101 and you can just go and get that and once you've got the key you can enter into this place and this is also a really cool place inside as there's a workshop and there's also some slidey doors that you can tilt up and down which you can see the water it is just a really good attention to detail mod so if you did like this video then leave a like subscribe until next time see ya